Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we are going to learn how to prepare a flash animation for Dreamweaver and then how to insert that flash animation into Dreamweaver. In order to do this, in order to follow along, you're going to need Dreamweaver, Flash, you're going to need a flash animation already, because I'm not going over in this tutorial how to make a flash animation. If you want to learn that, go to some of my flash tutorials. And you're also going to need a site defined with a default images folder, because we will put that flash animation in our default images folder. If you have all that, then let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up flash and see what we're going to be working with. So this is the this is the uh, flash animation that we're going to be inserting into Dreamweaver. It's a basic flash animation. It's a fading images slideshow. So the first thing that we need to do, uh, this is basically just going to be all tips today so, so that your flash animations come out the best way that they can in Dreamweaver. So what you want to do, let's go to File, Publish Settings, and go to HTML Wrapper, now this is something a lot of people don't know about. If you want your quality to be really good, then it usually starts out either on high or medium as the default. Change it to best. Trust me, you really want to do that. And then click OK. So now when we insert it into Dreamweaver, it will be the best quality that it possibly can be. The other thing you want to do is here in your player, you already see I have it as Flash Player 6. When I open this up, it was at Flash Player 10.2. The reason I don't like to use Flash Player 10.2 that much is because a lot of people don't have it yet. And especially, there might be times when you even integrate it into Dreamweaver, and Dreamweaver won't even take it because your Dreamweaver might not be at a high enough setting. So a lot of times, I like to either go to Flash Player 9, or I'll go as low as Flash Player 6. Because a lot of people have these older Flashes, but they don't have the newer ones. So sometimes I do, it depends on who your client base is and what you think will work with the most with the most people who are going to visit your web page. But right now I'm going to keep mine at Flash Player 6. So first we went to File, Publish, Settings, and we changed it to Best, and then we changed our player. Now we are ready to import it into Dreamweaver. In order to do this, go File, Save As, and you want to save it in your default images folder. We are going to save the FLA file. So go to your default images folder. Mine is right here. And I'm going to call it flash underscore tutorial and click save. Now we've saved the flash file in our default images folder, but we will not be importing a flash file onto our website. We will be importing an SWF file onto our website. So we need to go to file and we need to publish it. And by clicking that, it immediately went to that default images folder and it published an SWF file right there for us. So now we're ready to go into Dreamweaver. And I have my site defined right here in my default images folder. You will see that SWF. So I'm just going to open up a new HTML. And I'm going to save it in my site as flash underscore page and click save. So here's my flash page. So in order to insert that, I'm in designer view, in design view, I'm going to go to my insert common. So let's scroll this down a little bit. And I'm going to go to this media SWF. So let's click that and find that file. So go to my default images folder and you're going to see flash underscores tutorial dot SWF. Choose that. And now you can put some alternate text, so you can just put um, home, page, flash. This, will, this is what will pop up when people hover over it, and you can click OK. Give it a second. And there you go. This is your flash animation file. So you could click this. If you click it, then you get the page properties for it, so you can change the width and the height right down here. Um, this is basically all that you need to do. So let's preview this real quick and let's check if it worked. Save all your changes, save everything. And now we have our flash animation file in Dreamweaver. So thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with uh, GMUstudent.com and I hope this tutorial was useful.